Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about how to write a CFD report or paper in order to write a report or paper based on CFD solutions. Several aspects regarding the CFD model and the solutions must be described adequately. These aspects are shown here. General numerical method, grid system, numerical schemes, boundary conditions, turbulence modeling, free surface treatment if your simulations involve modeling the free surface, computations and finally verification and validation. In the following sections each of these aspects is explained in more detail. General numerical method what is the name of numerical code used in the study, for example, star CCM plus? What is the general classification by discretization scheme, FEM, finite element method, FDM, finite difference method, FVM, finite volume method, spectral method, vortex method, or others, which in this case you need to specify the discretization scheme. How the fluid density? is treated in your code it is incompressible uh, where the fluid density uh, remains unchanged or compressible where the fluid density changes how the relation between pressure field and velocity field is established coupled style which can be a Chorin's artificial compressibility treatment or preconditioning treatment Weiss-Smith method Chori and Merkel method or others which you need to specify or a segregated style which can be based on simple algorithm or simpler simple C fractional step method PISO or others which you need to specify what is the treatment for unsteady characteristics in your simulation uh, is it a steady simulation or unsteady simulation in which a constant time step or a dynamic time step based on the target current number is used or others which you need to specify. Grid system, what is the software used to generate your grid system? For example, star CCM plus. Coordinate in your grid system is a Cartesian coordinate system or a cylindrical coordinate system or others which you need to specify. What is the type of your grid system? Tetrahedral grid, unstructured grid, as shown here or hexahedral grid which can be structured or unstructured as shown here a structured grid can be H type which you can see here O type C type hybrid or others which you need to specify or unstructured grid the grid can be even polyhedral grid or Cartesian grid or others which you need to specify also, if the body you're investigating has motions, how these motions are handled? By using an overset grid method, grid deformation, regeneration of grid, immersed boundary method, IBM, or others which uh, you need to specify. You have to write the number of grids in your computational domain in the following order. Total number of grids or cells, number of grids or cells on the model surface, and of course, if your simulations involve the wave propagation modeling on the free surface, number of grids per incident wavelength, and finally, number of grids per incident wave height. Additionally, you need to write the non dimensional length of the first grid size, y plus, from the model in wall normal direction. Numerical schemes. Uh, you need to specify how the discretization of convection term is carried out. Are you using a centered scheme or an upwind or a hybrid centered plus upwind or an explicit artificial viscosity method or other methods which you, sh you should specify. Also, what is the order of accuracy of convection term discretization? Is it the first order scheme or second, third, fourth or others? Another important point is the scheme you use to discretize the temporal term, which can be an Euler explicit or implicit. Range cutter, Adam Bashforth, multi-stage explicit, three-point 
backward implicit or others which you need to specify also you need to write down the order of accuracy of the temporal term discretization uh, which can be first order second third fourth or others specify the conserved quantities in other words and uh, the governing equations it can be mass or mass and momentum or mass momentum and kinetic energy or mass momentum and total energy boundary conditions you need to specify the boundary conditions on each boundary of the computational domain such as the condition on the upstream boundary downstream boundary top boundary bottom boundary and lateral or side boundaries for example in case of of a wind turbine simulation upstream boundary can be assumed to be a velocity inlet downstream boundary can be a pressure outlet lateral boundaries symmetry and bottom boundary a wall which uh, can be no slip or slip also if your simulations involve the modeling of waves propagation on the free surface you need to specify how the waves are generated in your simulations by using a static boundary through imposing flow quantities at the boundary based on first wave theory or second wave theory third wave theory or fifth wave theory or by using dynamic boundary through implementing a flap type wave maker or paddle type wave maker or others which you need to write down the same thing about the wave absorption you need to explain how the wave absorption is performed in your simulations is it done by using a static boundary through imposing flow quantities at the boundary based on first wave theory or second wave theory third wave theory or fifth wave theory or by using dynamic boundary through implementing a flap type wave maker or paddle type wave maker or by using a numerical beach through increasing the viscosity of the liquid phase or addition of a sponge layer or addition of a damping term in the momentum equation or by using a passive absorption through a slope bathymetry physical beach or cell stretching turbulence modeling how the viscous regime is treated are you using an inviscid flow laminar or turbulent type of turbulence model are you using any urans rans if yes which of the following models are you using zero equation model one equation model for example spallard almaris model or others which you need to specify two equation model k epsilon model the standard variant or realizable variant or others which you need to specify two equation model original k omega model or k omega ssd model v2f model Reynolds stress model or others which you need to write down are you using a hybrid rans les method which is called des detached eddy simulation DDES, delayed DES, or IDES, improved DES. LNS, limited numerical scales, or SAS, a scale adaptive simulation. Are you using an LES, large eddy simulation? If yes, which of the following subgrid models are you using? Smagorinsky model, dynamic model, scale similarity model, structure function model, or other SGS subgrid scale model or are you using a DNS direct numerical simulation what is the transition treatment are you assuming a fully turbulent flow or forced transition or natural transition what is the wall treatment that you are using are you using a no slip condition with no wall function or are you using a wall function free surface treatment you need to specify the free surface treatment method is it a linearized free surface or a nonlinear free surface tracking or is it a free surface capturing method if yes which of the following approaches are you using mac or marker and cell vof or volume of fluid level set or others which you need to write down computations what is the computer that you use to perform the simulations? You need to provide the following information. Manufacturer, process type, number of processors, processor speed, total memory. For example, manufacturer can be IBM, process type can be Intel quad-core, 
number of processors can be 128 processor speed can be 2.66 gigahertz total memory can be 128 gigabytes also about the computer system is the distributed memory scalable parallel processing system or shared memory scalable parallel processing system or vector processing system or engineering workstation or PC cluster or PC what is the approach for parallel computing that you use message passing interface single program multiple data and distributed memory or open MP threads and shared memory also what is the wall clock time in seconds to complete the simulations verification and validation finally you need to verify and validate your solutions the most popular calculation verification activity is performing a grid or time step convergence study in which the mesh or time step is refined successively until a sufficient level of precision is obtained as an example for calculation verification study consider that we want to assess the precision of the drag force acting on a body obtained from a numerical simulation as shown here here the mainstream direction is shown for the purpose of calculation verification the mesh has been refined in five levels as can be seen here the drag forces calculated from the simulations using these five grids together with the experimental value is shown in this figure uh, as the grid is refined the difference between the successive values of drag force decreases which is an indication of, a, of achieving an acceptable level of precision at the same time by comparing the values of the drag force obtained from the grids number three four and five with the experimental value it is evident that these grids also provide a reasonable level of accuracy which is exactly what the validation is all about thus as the final phase the validation activity aims to quantify the accuracy of the model through comparison of the obtained solutions with available experimental data this is the end of this video i hope you found this video useful please let me know what you think about this video by leaving a comment in the comment section thank you for watching the video and for further upcoming videos please subscribe to this channel